Thank you, Zary. Here, <clears throat> Matthew was uh, the first friend I made in Los Angeles. When I moved there, I was 21. He was 16. We did a pilot together called Morning Maggie that never saw the light of day. But Matthew and I became really good friends. And um, we were really more like brothers for a long time. Um, we drank a lot together. We laughed a lot together. Uh, we were there for each other in the early days of our uh, career. Um, and um, he was, the, to be the funny, as funny as he was on Friends, and he was, and other things too. In person, he was just the funniest man ever. Um, he just lived to laugh. And uh, every night, he would, he, he was like a genius. He would weave, he would start to weave comedy threads together. Just hanging out. Oh, joke here, <coughs> joke there, joke here, joke there. And then by the end of the night, he'd weave them all together in this like crescendo of hilarity. But most nights he spent with Matthew were crying, laughing by the end. Um, I really loved him. A lot of us who were close to him felt like we lost him to drugs and alcohol um, a long time ago because as he documented it in his autobiography, there was so much suffering. I had to pick up and put down that biography like 11 times. It was so painful for me to read. It was really, as his friend who loved him, I, I knew he must be suffering, but the details of it were just devastating. Just devastating, physically, emotionally, mentally, psychologically. You know, from a recovery perspective, I mean, I'm a sober guy for 17 years. I want to say that the night I went into AA, Matthew brought me in. Um, the whole first year I was sober, we went to meetings together. And he was such a great... I got to tell him this. He was just, as a sober person, um, he was so caring and giving and wise, and he totally helped me um, get sober. And I really wish he could have, um, you know, found the found it in himself to stay with the sober life um, more consistently. Um, but. Um, you know, as a recovery guy, it was hard to read that, too. I just felt so bad. I mean, I knew he had gone in and out for years. You know, he, do he documented it all publicly and then in the book. But it's heartbreaking for those of us who loved him and, and knew him really well personally. We just missed him. We just missed him. It's one of the terrible things about this disease is it just takes away the person you, you love. Um... And, you know, professionally, as an actor, he was so brilliant. I just wish we, the world, I and the world could have gotten the, like what the rest of his career would have been.